Hey, it's Kenny with Helicopter Online Ground School, and I wanted to do a video today. We're doing a uh, recommendation for Taz Chrisman for Flight Instructor of the Year. Taz has been working with us this past summer and fall. Uh, he's been here in the studio with us. If you want to show him the picture of all three of us here in the studio, Gary. Taz has been instrumental in helping us build the instrument online uh, instrument pilot online ground school course that we have. Taz has done a good portion of the videos, and we've got to know Taz really well over the last couple of years, and so I'm recommending Taz Chrisman as Flight Instructor of the Year. I have a recommendation letter here that I'll put in the description box. I'm not going to stand here and read it to you, but if you'd like to read the recommendation letter, it'll be in the description box, and basically Taz is a flies for the Air Force full-time. He's an airplane instructor, helicopter instructor, so everything that this guy does and being as humble as he is and a nice guy is just amazing. And I am completely, have been completely impressed with um, Taz's abilities, everything that he does, how this guy has this, um, the amount of time to do the quality of instruction that he does, fly with students, work for the Air Force, <laughs> and then build uh, instrument ground school videos for us. The speed at which he did this was amazing. He, I just gave him a, some few pointers the last time he was here with us in the studio and set him up with a mic and a few things and give him some software to use back in Vegas. And he went back home and started sending me these videos. And I sat back in a chair and went, oh my God, you know, these are amazing. And he did a whole series of videos and each video just got better and better and better. I literally, I didn't have to do almost no editing with the videos he would send me. And just, I am completely amazed. And again, I wanna mention again, he's just so humble and such a nice guy. Of anybody that could walk around with kind of a chip on their shoulder, he's the guy that could do it because of everything that he's accomplished. It's just absolutely amazing. So we're going to roll a video from the instrument course. We're going to roll the full video. In this video, Taz talks about thunderstorms, and he talks about aircraft icing. And this is one uh, weather, as we know from our members, is the number one thing that people uh, have trouble with learning, getting ready for the rating. So we're going to roll that video here in just a minute. You can read, again, you'll be able to read uh, my letter of recommendation in the description box for Taz. I'm going to have Gary Cleveland step in here with us and working with um, Taz. So I want him to say a few words while I get the video. Yeah, I got the uh, privilege of meeting Taz this last year when he stopped in the studio. He has uh, family in this area and introduced himself as a ground school member and I was in the Air Force, and when he told me he's a lieutenant colonel, I said, wow, I think I need to snap to attention and salute you. That's pretty awesome. And here he stopped by and was complimenting us, saying we're awesome. So shout out to you, Taz. You're an awesome guy. I enjoyed meeting you. And I think you deserve Instructor of the Year. Uh, the way you present, when you sent us the uh, instrument videos to put into our site in the interest of pilot safety, no other uh, compensation, just you wanted pilots to be safe, and uh, you did an excellent job with it. So I think you deserve it. Hope you get it. All right. Hold roll on. the video. Let's roll a little example of what he can do. All right, here we go. So even though outside your air temperature gauge might be showing slightly above freezing, remember those blades are actually probably just a little bit cooler. So even though you're you're not in the temperature outside is not freezing, your blades could be. All right. Icing is identified as clear, rime, or mixed. Rime ice forms uh, if the droplets are small and freeze immediately when contacting the aircraft's surface. This type of ice usually forms on areas such as leading edges of the wings or struts. It has somewhat rough uh, looking appearance and is milky white in flavor and color. Um, so this is kind of what it looks like on the, the, the wings of, a, of an aircraft. Um, I always tell people it looks like that, uh, the, the ice that forms inside your freezer. Remember those old school th freezers that you had to thaw out every once in a while? That's kind of what it is. All right? um, the reason why it freezes like that is because it freezes so quickly and it actually traps air inside the ice. So the reason why it's white is because it has air pockets in it. Clear ice is usually formed from larger water droplets or freezing rain that can spread over a surface. This is the most dangerous type of ice since it is clear, hard to see, 
and can change the shape of the airfoil. So the difference between this and the rime ice is the clear ice freezes very slowly and it allows time for that air molecules to get out of the, of the moisture. So it doesn't really have those air pockets in there. And that's why it's nice and, and clear. It conforms to the shape of the airfoil. We also have mixed ice, which just like it sounds, it's a mixture of clear and rime ice. It has bad characteristics of both types and can form rapidly. So clear ice, obviously it can, um, it, it creates a lot of weight. It's hard to see. Rime ice, it's very opaque. You can't, you can see it very well, but it also changes the, the shape of the, the wing itself or the, the airfoil. There are two kinds of icing that are significant to aviation. We have structural icing, which is basically the three that we just talked about. And then we have induction icing. Induction icing affects power plant operations. So that'd be like stuff like carburetor ice. Structural icing refers to the accumulation of ice on the exterior of the aircraft. It occurs on an aircraft whenever supercooled droplets of water make contact with any part of the aircraft that is also at a temperature below freezing. One in-flight condition necessary for structural icing is visible moisture, clouds or raindrops. As the rain falls through air that is below freezing, its temperature begins to fall below freezing, yet it does not freeze solid. Thus, you get freezing rain. The process requires the temperature of the rain to be above freezing before it becomes super cool. So basically what's happening is that, that moisture, that rain as it's coming out of the clouds, it is cold, but it's not freezing yet. And as it falls, it actually gets colder and colder. And that's how we get that super cooled. As you can see, we got the, the little picture right there. Usually got that warm front as it's pushing up and you get that cold front coming around. The closer you get to that warm front, you'll have rain. The further away you get from it, you start having that freezing rain, sleet, snow. Aircraft structural ice will most likely have the highest accumulation in freezing rain. Therefore, an operational consideration if you fly into rain that freezes on impact is that the temperatures are above freezing at some higher altitude. Right? So in this case, this is showing you the, the warm front as it's overtaking the cold front so that we're going to talk about those here in a second. But as you can see, those clouds as they're going up, that's basically the warm front that's going over the cold front down at the bottom down here. Right? Um, as that warmer air up there, as the, the rain falls, it falls into that cold, cold zone and then it starts becoming super cool. Hi, welcome back. I'm Taz Chrisman and we'll be continuing with aviation weather. In this lesson, we're going to talk about thunderstorms, microbursts, icing, and wind shear. So one of the cool things about uh, the lesson today is we actually have a thunderstorm going on outside uh, here in Vegas. Um, it is the monsoon season. I thought that was kind of ironic since tonight I'm recording the video for thunderstorms. Let's get into it. All right, a thunderstorm is a local storm produced by a cumulonimbus cloud. It is always accompanied by lightning and thunder, usually with strong gusts of wind, heavy rain, and sometimes with hail. We can't have a thunderstorm without thunder. What produces the thunder? Well, it's the lightning. It's that shear zone between the hotness of the lightning and the colder temperature out, out around, and that's what actually gives us the thunder. Let's talk about uh, a little bit more of these. There's three conditions necessary for the formation of a thunderstorm. Right? You're gonna be asked this on your, on your written test. You're gonna be asked this uh, in your uh, actual practical, uh, your check ride, all right? So the three things are sufficient weather vapor an unstable lapse rate, and an initial upward boost or lifting action. Without any one of those three items, you cannot have a thunderstorm. The initial upward boost can be caused by heating from below, frontal lifting, or by mechanical lifting, or what that means is wind blowing up a slope of a mountain. There are three stages to a thunderstorm. We have the cumulus stage, the mature stage, in the dissipating stage, as you can see on the... All right, that's a sample of what uh, some of the instrument videos that Taz has done for us. Again, an awesome job. The, the job that he does and everything that he does 
is just incredible. Flight instructor, airplanes, helicopters, in the Air Force, doing videos for us, uh, appearing with us live on camera for our live events. I can't think of anybody else in my 20 years in aviation, um, of anybody else more deserving of Flight Instructor of the Year than Taz Christen Christman. So please like and share this video in support of Taz. Leave your comments down below, and we will see you in the next video.